Good morning, children. Good morning, Good morning, morning ma'am. Ma children, today we will do revision of chapter third, Two Friends. Did you like the story of Four Friends? Yes, ma'am. The story is too interesting. And ma'am, this story is adapted from the Panchatantra, right? Yes, very good. So, today we will do revision of chapter third. At first, I'll ask question answers to you. There will be two teams, team A, Nikki and Tech, and team B, Tom and Rinky. The first question is for you, team A. Who were the four friends? Where did they live? Tech, do you know its answer? Yes, Nikki, I know. Ma'am, the four friends were namely a sparrow, a deer, a mouse, and a turtle. They lived together in a forest. Very good. The next question is for team B. How did the sparrow, the deer, and the mouse save themselves from the hunter? The answer of the question is, the sparrow flew away to the highest branches of the tree, the deer ran away, to the nearby bushes and the mouse hid himself in a small hole at the floor of a nearby tree. Well done. The next question is for team A. Why was the turtle caught by the hunter? Uh, the turtle was caught by the hunter because he could not walk quickly. Well done. Next question is for team B. Why was the hunter happy on seeing the dead deer? The hunter was happy on seeing the dead deer because he thought he could take back a big animal instead of the small turtle. Well done, Team B. The next one is, what did the mouse do to save the turtle? The mouse cut the net with his sharp teeth and freed the turtle. Now we will move towards language structure. The first one is spellings. I will say a wrong spelling. You have to tell its correct spelling. Understood? Yes, yes, yes ma'am. Okay, the first one is S-W-I-M-I-N-G. Team B. Ma'am, the correct spelling of swimming is S-W-I-M-I-N-G. The next one is B-R-A-N-C-H-H-E-S. Ma'am, the correct spelling of branches is B R A N C H E S. The next one is W R I T T I N G. Ma'am, the correct spelling is W R I T I N G. The next one is W E T H E R. Weather. Ma'am, it's wrong. W E A T H E R is the correct spelling of weather. The next one is C H I L D R E N H O O T. Childhood. Ma'am, the correct spelling of childhood is C H I L D H O O D. The next one is T R O L Y, truly. Ma'am, the correct spelling of truly is T R U L Y. Children, well done. Children, do you know the meaning of countable and uncountable nouns? Yes, ma'am. The nouns which can be countable are known as countable nouns. And the nouns which cannot be countable are known as uncountable nouns. Very good. Now, I will say some words. You have to categorize the words according to the countable and uncountable nouns. Sandwiches, sugar, stone, tea, truth, girl, book, hen, water, wood, beauty, sheep, cities, story, laughter, juice. Team A will select countable nouns and Team B will select uncountable nouns. Ma'am, we have done. Ma'am, we have also done. Okay, Team A, please tell. Ma'am, the countable nouns are sandwiches, cities, girl, story, stones, book, hen and sheep. And ma'am, the uncountable nouns are truth, water, sugar. Wood, beauty, laughter, tea, and juice. Well done, children. Now we will move towards grammar glee. And the first question is complete the following sentence. It's using a, n, or the. Do you know, children, about articles? Yes, ma'am. We studied about articles in class 2 and in our previous session. 
Yes, ma'am, but I am always confused in the use of the article the. Can you please tell me? Yes, bitte, I will tell you. Children, as we know that a and n are used before singular countable nouns. We don't say a books or an apples. A is used before words starting with consonant sounds. We don't say a bread. We say a slice of bread because bread, sugar, oil, water, gold, butter are uncountable nouns. In the case of the, when we talk about something for the first time, we use a or n. When we talk about the same thing again, we use the. For example, I saw a dog. The dog was limping. We also use the with unique things like the sun, the moon, the stars, the sky, the Ganga. Okay, the is used before both singular and plural common nouns and before the names of rivers, mountains and mountain ranges, things, famous buildings. Okay, understood? Yes, yes ma'am, ma we, we got. Okay, that's very good. Now, you have to complete the sentence using A, N or the article. The first one is, I would like to eat dash egg dash banana for breakfast. Ma'am, it's I would like to eat an apple and a banana for breakfast. The next one is, dash moon is hidden behind the clouds. Mm, it can be, the moon is hidden behind the clouds, right? Yes, correct. The next one is, dash apple a day keeps a doctor away. Ma'am, uh, we will use here an article. An apple a day keeps a doctor away. Very good. The next one is, the sun rises in dash east. Ma'am, we will use the article. The sun rises in the east. The next one is, please get me a dash pencil, dash pen, dash eraser and dash ruler from the market. Ma'am, it is very simple. Please get me a pencil, a pen, an eraser and a ruler from the market. Very good children. Well done. Now the last one is punctuation. Do you know about punctuation? Yes ma'am, we know. Okay, can you please tell me some rules for punctuation? The first one is a sentence always starts with a capital letters. And it ends with full stop. If the sentence is an interrogative sentence, then there will be a question mark at the end. If the sentence is exclamatory, then we should use exclamation marks. Very good, children. Now you will tell me what kind of sentence is this. Wow, that's great news. Ma'am, it is an exclamatory sentence. So, we will use exclamation mark in this sentence. Please identify which kind of sentence is this. When will you complete the project? Ma'am, it's an interrogative sentence. So, we will use question mark at the end. When will you complete the project? Question mark. Very good children. Now, revise this chapter for revision test. <laughs> 